arkadaşlar. Bugün şu anda nasıl diyeyim? Her şey aklımdan çıktı ya neyse. Bugün tarihi yürüyüşe çıkmadığını deniyoruz. Event gibi bir şey. Tarihi yürüyüşe çıktığı şey kale, Amerika'da kalenin kaldırılması. Uhu. Buraya ya şuraya. Hemen sıkıldı. Ülkemizin tarihinde özgürlükle ilgili düzenlenmiş olan bu en büyük gösteride şu an aramızda bulunmaktan mutluluk duyuyorum. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk mi? of freedom and the security of 
Pentagon'dan bağlanıyorum Now şu anda. Event mi? Event. Yok. Böyle ara event gibi bir şey yine. Irkçılık karşı protesto anladın mı? beni benden alıyor. We must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protests to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. The marvelous new militancy, which has engulfed the Negro community, must not lead us to a distrust of all white people. For many of our white brothers, as evidenced by their presence here today, have come to realize that their destiny is tied up with our destiny. Come on, some of you should see the flag. They have come to realize that their freedom is inextricably bound to our freedom. We cannot walk alone. That we walk. Must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. There are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights, "When will you be satisfied?" We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. We can never be satisfied. As long as our body is heavy with the fatigue of travel, cannot gain lodging in the motels of the highways and the hotels of the city. We cannot be satisfied as 
long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. We can never be satisfied as long as our children are stripped of their selfhood and robbed of their dignity by signs stating for whites only. satisfied as long as a Negro in Mississippi cannot vote and a Negro in New York believes he has nothing for which to vote. No, no, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Some of you have come here out of great trials and tribulations. Some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you have come from areas where your present quest for freedom left you battered by the storms of persecution, staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to South Carolina. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities. Knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friend, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its dream. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in Thank you. 
and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the song with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning my country tears of me. Sweet land of liberty of the Beyonce. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims' pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring. From the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania, let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the crevices slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the stone mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Evet arkadaşlar bu kadardı. Şimdi başka ne yapabiliriz diye bakmak istiyorum. hallettim neyse arkadaşlar bitireyim kadardı video görüşürüz